Hello everyone and welcome to my 14th video. So in this video, we are going to see how we have used the old uh, disused uh, pipes which were cracked and really of no use. And we have modified them to make a bridge like this across this river. So the problem was that uh, every couple of years, uh, we had to constantly make a, a wooden footbridge uh, somewhere over there. So uh, that was uh, not only uh, time consuming also, but was uneconomical and uh, was also of a temporary nature because uh, every couple of years, three years, we had to keep making a new footbridge. Uh, furthermore, another problem that arose was also that uh, when the vehicle used to cross across the river, then what happens is that the sand and silt which was there, it'll get stuck uh, inside here in the tire, in the rim. And then this goes and then spoils the brake lining and the brake drum also. So even the uh, maintenance repairing of the vehicle also was quite a lot. So thinking of all these problems, we came up with a solution uh, wherein uh, we use these pipes like this. And what we initially did was that we had placed uh, stones soling, then a layer of uh, rod mat, which we say jali. Then the, we placed the mats and then we sort of tied the rods uh, to the jali. We had also modified some uh, truck U-bolts uh, like this and then the, this sorted as a clamp over the uh, pipe. Then on top of that another jelly or a rod mat and then the, we added concrete. So this is how we have made the bridge and uh, as I mentioned these are all the disused items also. Uh, these are uh, all the uh, DI pipes or ductile iron pipes. These are heavy, sturdy and uh, we have uh, put them to uh, good use as you can see here. And initially when we are constructing the uh, bridge also, uh, a lot of the local villagers from here also, they were laughing at us when we were constructing saying that uh, the bridge will not last during the rainy season. But I'm very happy to say that it's uh, more than three years, I think four years now. And uh, it has stood the test of time and uh, there's not much of damage to the bridge. So uh, people can easily walk through and the vehicle also no problem. And uh, yes, during the rainy season, the water does uh, overflow, but uh, the depth is not much. It's very much manageable. And uh, even if there's debris in the front also, people every day they come and uh, they can uh, clean the debris also, whatever is there. One advantage is that the length of the pipe is 6 meters. Also, ductile iron has a nodular graphite microstructure due to the addition of magnesium. And this gives it good toughness and ductility. So, the length and the properties of these pipes allows two vehicles to easily pass through. You can also check out my previous videos, that is my 7th video on I-beam stresses using chicken sausage, and also my 8th video on a small footbridge made from an old jeep chassis for more on this topic. Now let's get back to the video. So uh, these are 200mm uh, pipes as you can see, the entire length like this. And uh, you can see the water also coming out very nicely here without any problems. So uh, perhaps if there are some uh, old items or something with a little ingenuity, I think uh, you can repurpose it to something else. For example, these pipes, uh, since they were cracked and all that, they were useless uh, really for carrying water. But in this particular case, uh, that uh, um, requirement is not there. And a leakage actually serves the purpose across this bridge. So I hope you like this video. And uh, please do keep watching my videos. See you in the next one. Thank you.